Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Marleni and um, I'm with my sister here today. Hi. And she is going to be doing my makeup today. Yes, yeah, so my name is Jalissa, I'm her little sister. Um, I am not a professional makeup artist, um, nor do I practice on people regularly. I just do my own makeup, but my sister does like how I do it. So I'm gonna be doing it for her today. I mean, look at this makeup, guys. It's beautiful, mm -hmm. honestly, beautiful. Yeah, so we are, we are chewing gum because, you know, you are gonna be up close with people. It's only the right thing to do, so. <laughs> um, so yeah, I guess let's, let's get started. Yeah. Oh. So we are in our um, Dominican Republican, wait, no. So um, at our home in DR. Um, there is a little bit of noise because of the construction, so we do apologize for that. But we wanted to film outside because the lighting is better. Guys, I'm so sorry, Jalissa. Mm -hmm. Disclaimer, guys, please be nice to me. Um, I'm actually currently not wearing any makeup and I do suffer from cystic acne. Is you know, or I get really painful um acne under my skin, so yeah. She I'm bearing it up beautiful. Oh, just for you. <laughs> so you better hit the thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> like and subscribe, guys, and comment below. And if you guys want to criticize my makeup, please do because I actually need, you know, a little bit of critique. Um, I don't do this professionally. I just do it for myself or work and stuff. I have to do it every day. Um, so it's something that I'm normally used to doing, but more on my face. But I do love doing makeup and I do love um, watching YouTube videos. So I never took a class. This is just what I do, how I learn, self-taught, you know. Um, so she already prepped, you already moisturized, she already moisturized her face and did her eyebrows. So there's certain things that I don't like to do on people, like eyebrows and like eyeliner. I'm a little weird with those things because I'm not, like I said, it's not, I'm not a professional. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start off with primer. I do like to use the Mario Badesco skincare facial spray, um, the rose water. I got on. And this is something that you can... You and know, where can people get this? Um, I got mine on Ulta. Oh. Yeah, at Ulta. And um, this is something that you can probably get like also like online. But um, you can just spray it throughout the day. Like I already did my makeup, but you know, if I'm feeling a little hot. Day Lauder Illuminating Perfecting Primer. And it looks like this. If anything, I will try to link everything down below. I know I've been saying that for a while now. And... Trust me, um, it's a little hard sometimes finding the links to this stuff because um, sometimes they sell out. But mm -hmm. so, a lot of brands like Estee Lauder, um, and Stilla. Sometimes they have a lot of like sample sales um, that you can go to and get these products for a lot cheaper. And I got a lot of mine in sample sales. So if you also oh, you can actually try yeah. them like as a sample to see if it's good for your skin. No, they actually have like if you go online and you search up like sample sales and you put wherever you're located for me in New York City and whatever is going on like that week, like if it's a, 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 a like a high like a really high end clothing brand that's having because you know sample sales for like high end products like high end makeup products to clothing brands they only do it like one or twice a year if they even do it um and you can get like uh high end you know brands and like makeup and stuff for like a lot cheaper so that's that's how i like try to get a lot of my products so like full size good products you know um that that yeah so you can get out a, a, a lot a lot less so i just do a little bit of her t-zone area um i don't you know i don't do a lot of primer you don't need a lot of primer um and I like to mix foundation, so I'm gonna be working with a lot. We are not the same skin tone, but um, I still make my products work on her. She's a lot lighter than me. I'm a lot more tan. Um, I'm gonna be trying some of her foundation, mine's too. Um, and just the key of makeup to me is blending. So if you blend well, you're not gonna have a problem, you know, with the shades in my opinion of course so I'm just putting a little bit of um under eye concealer with my I'm using my thumb because I'm just gonna apply it like in the where this redness this is the um Stilla foundation stick it's like a it has like a, a side that you can do like foundation and then oh, wow, the, and then it has the concealer side up top I got this in the sample sale too for um 
That's crazy. That's just not. Yeah, and you get like it's like it it retails for. I'm not sure, but you know these things tend to retail from anywhere from thirty something dollars, and I got it for like ten, twelve bucks. So that's crazy. Yeah. So check out sample sales near you for like high end brands. I think Ulta has like the ultimate, like you know, the best sales. Yeah, Ulta carries a lot of different brands that Sephora doesn't. So I do also recommend looking into Ulta. So um, I just put that where we're going to go ahead and contour so we want it to be a little more darker. I know that I'm kind of doing things backwards, but this is the way I've been doing my makeup recently. So I'm just kind of following my, um, my, my own routine for her. Oh, um, this is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer in the shade um, Golden Neutral. Just, I'm gonna use this to conceal certain areas. Again, we're not the same shade, but I'm gonna be blending it, so. Oh wow, you do everything so different. You do the concealer. And yeah, I do things backwards, literally backwards. But look at her, you know, the end results. Yeah, so just be a little patient, give me some time, you'll see. My favorite foundation of all time that everybody that I recommend it to loves is the Estee Lauder, Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, and it looks like this. This foundation is legit the shit. You, you know what's will crazy? love it. I, I really thought that you were using the, um, what is it called? I thought you were using the Armani foundation. That's funny. Giorgio Armani? Yeah. Um, I was, but I didn't like it. It didn't, for me, it wasn't for full your coverage. skin. Yeah, and also, like, this one, for some reason, it just makes your face look like Barbie doll. It, it's How much coverage. this one retails for? So people can have it, um... Depends where you get it. Like, if you get it at a sample sale, you can get it for a lot less. But they normally go for, I think, $38? I forget. I think 38 bucks. So it's a that's little... That's not bad, because I've seen, I seen that. That's why I asked you, because I've seen that, like, um online somewhere for, like... 40 something dollars almost 50 you know yeah. it must be a really good foundation no it's yeah, it's definitely more expensive so i'm mixing some of mine's and some of hers so like i can try to match her shade and you'll see how i do it I, and with concealer and everything trust me it's gonna blend nicely um but this is the the because she asked me which foundation i recommend and just from the drugstore from the drugstore and i think this is a great one l'oreal infallible pro matte foundation so definitely they Which one do you recommend um, besides that one? The um, Fit Me by Maybelline. This one, they compare it a lot to the Giorgio Armani. Oh, wow. Um, it's like a dupe. Yeah, so it's like a dupe for the Giorgio Armani one. Which, I yeah, I I believe it. I do. Um, but of course, everybody has their own opinion. So, you, you know, I would say definitely try. Go for it and see if it works. And I'm using a damp beauty blender and I'm just kind of gonna blend these two shades here together in my palm of my hand. It sucks it doesn't have a pump, but what can you do? And I'm gonna go ahead and start blending this all together. So with, when it, the reason why I put the contour stick on her prior to me going ahead and, um, you know, putting on foundation was because when it comes to cream, I'm not a cream contour kind of person, but um, when it comes to doing any type of contouring for the face, I like to always um, try to blend as much as possible and, and like do a subtle contour versus a, you know, a heavy like, where you can see like where the contour like ends and it just, I don't know. So I like to do it very light first. So I blend it all together. And then with the powder, I go ahead and, um, do you do baking? More heavy. Yeah, I do bake. Do you usually do baking all your makeup or only when you're like you know, doing something special? All my makeup. So baking, but the thing is I don't bake the way people, I don't leave the powder on for a long, there's a, partic there's a way that I do it that it doesn't crease. So when I started to bake, it was coming out really, really bad. And I'm like, what's going on? Like, what am I doing wrong? And it was because, um, you have to dab. You have to dab. You have to. You have to go back in with your beauty blender and dab it in the powder. You can't just put the powder on and and, and just take it off. Like you know. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. A lot of people ask me um, because my makeup stays on the whole day and it doesn't come off. 
So people ask me what my trick was and it's, it's, it's the way I bake my face. I'm not too fond of my side profile, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> this is what you do for your subscribers. <laughs> yeah, so we are currently right now in our mother's house in the Dominican Republic and this place is amazing, honestly. It yeah. is very hot, the weather, <laughs> but it's really nice. You guys should know too that our mom like literally built this place from ground up. Yeah. She is like She bought the area and she um designed the house herself mm -hmm. with everything she wanted and she's our um literally she is our like um hero, like our role model. Like like she's like the person that I want to be when I grow up and I can like honestly say that because my mom anything that she tells tells herself she's gonna do she does mm -hmm. and it's very admired you know it's, we yeah. admire that and guys this is not the only um house that she has you know um design here in the dominican republic she also have other houses that she has um her and my dad you know he put he has some inputs too in him mm -hmm. you know ideas for the house and i think we should tell them like you know, guys, the reason why it's not the money and it, having housing, having nice things that that why we like admire our mother is because we don't come from like money. We weren't like born, you know, with uh, with a lot of nice things. Like we literally were born here and and we grew up in a house in the campo, like in the you know, <laughs> living four women by themselves, living in DR. Like th that's where we were born here. So a lot of people think that we were born over there because. We were been there for since we were super young. Sorry, as you said that, I want to input also, guys. I do have an older sister. Her name is Raisa. She just doesn't do social media at all. So, um, yeah, I don't think you'll be seeing her anytime soon. But I will try to, you know, Snapper. convince her to be, you know, in a video one of these days. Let me know if you want to meet my sister and my mom. Let me know if you, um, you know, my older sister, if you would like my mom to come out one of my videos. Do maybe like a Q and A or something. Yeah, you know what? I was actually thinking that I could probably do like a like a juice, a juicing video with mom, cause she's you know she loves them. Mm -hmm. Guys, this is why I learned about juicing too from um from my mother. Since so many of you ask me every day, like, you know, what are these green juices that you're making? You know, she actually put me on to it, to a lot of it. Yeah. Our mother taught us everything we know. I felt really hard working. Mm -hmm. I do put some foundation in the um, base of the eye, like the the eyelid, and that's I, that's what I use as my. I don't like do um, primer, like um, eyeshadow primer. I just use foundation for that, and I'll show you guys how I do that. So when I'm working, how do you think? I mean, you know, it's probably not my exact shade because you're a little bit um, a little bit darker, you no, know, you know, slightly. But, but you, you think it's coming matching? out? Yeah, it's definitely coming out. It's, it's matching because um, we we like we all have like a we're not like one shade. So you can literally blend your neck like if you see it. Yeah, and you should actually give them that tip that when you put foundation, it's not just this. Mm -hmm. You actually gotta go here. Yeah, you gotta yeah. go all the way here and here. I don't. I'm not a person that does makeup, but even I know that you know. You gotta blend. Um, Blending is key, actually. Sorry, I sound like an animal chewing. But so I'm gonna go in next with the H Rewinder uh, concealer. This here is the best concealer. My sister's not somebody like. to buy stuff from the drugstore, and she literally still buys this. You know, I buy drugstore makeup, and I don't mind because I mean I like you know I like experimenting. I love drugstore makeup. Don't get me wrong. I but I if I, if there's a product that it's worth me sp spending more you know more money for then i for my face i would buy it because i i love makeup so when you love makeup you spend money you know you get your first few like mac lipsticks you get your first foundation from sephora you get your first palette you know it's exciting and then you start to experiment and you know what works for you but um i before i started getting into makeup all i had was like drugstore and it worked just as good so it's not really the name, it's the product for me that matters. Like I I would never get into the, into the um, Tarte Shape Tape. I know that's like very like a well-known concealer. Never got into it, I don't know why. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Why? You tried them? 
I don't know. It just wasn't for me. Mm. I think Thai has a lot of pretty eyeshadows. Have you ever tried them? Um, yeah, I do. Um, I do like their eyeshadows. I do have some of their palettes, but their Tartiste collection, I uh, I didn't like it. I have that one of their palettes there, like their um highlighter palette, wasn't my favorite. What do you think about the Mac makeup? There was a a, a certain um like temporada that I was into that makeup. But it's like, no me aprobó, you know, like for my skin type, I feel like, you know, I feel like it didn't do me justice. I feel like I was breaking out too much when I was trying to make makeup. Probably I was doing it wrong, the technique, because I was using um, foundation and powder. Probably the powder made me break out. But what do you think about MAC um, foundation and stuff? Yeah, I'm not a fan. I have I have their foundation. It's literally sitting and getting old. I'm trying to throw it away. I'm not a fan. It's I've like over. I, I I like Me the either. lipsticks, but um, I do like the lipsticks. I think the lipsticks are definitely worth. I love it, the concept but, um, of Mac and everything, but I just the formula is not my favorite. Mm -hmm. Not my favorite either. That was the first like you know popular makeup brand I, for me from what I know. Correct me if I'm wrong. They were like the very from Black Radiance. Yeah, and this is literally. I actually got like this too. This is really good. This um eyebrow pomade. I'm um, it's really hard. I'm gonna put my hair up. Do you wanna? I have to wait till the end for that. <laughs> <laughs> um. So this is like what seven eight bucks. It's in it. It's a lot of product. I, I'm not a fan of Laura Mercier setting powder. I've never, I, I don't know, maybe it's because that my shade. Oh my god, I have heard, you know, Laura about Mercier. That. Like yeah. Some people famous. love it and some people hate it. It's not for me, definitely not. So I really like this one here. And I go, after the concealer, I go in with the other side of the beauty blender and I just, you know, it's damp so I can collect the product well and then I can put that on under her eye. And it's okay if it gets everywhere because powder it's gonna do that and anywhere that she has lines and creases you know that's where you would want to apply this powder you know it's funny that you say that because i was watching a video just this week on youtube and um this dude um the makeup artist he said that that it's good to make sure that your makeup is set good you know that has no lines so when you put the powder it just gets sealed you know yeah when you, like, if I'm putting this, like, if she had, like, any creases under, like, that, I didn't blend well with the conceit. That's how you test yourself. Like, am I blending enough? Like, you know if you have a line, if you can see your creases, then you're not, you still need to blend. Or if you can see, like, the, the, the colors are not, like, you know, of course. Like, you wouldn't want to blend, you wouldn't want to um, put the powder right in top of creases because then it's going to stay there. Yeah, then you're going to set creases on your face instead and of setting that's not a gonna be cute. finish. <laughs> And people will tell me, oh, you just say that because you have good skin. It's not about your skin. It's about how you set and how you blend. Trust me, because um, I, I do a lot of people's makeup. And they're like, I can't do it. Like, you know, it's just because you have good skin. No, trust me. It's nothing with the skin. I mean, of course, skin has a lot to do with this. Skin care is important. But also, how you blend and how you set, it, that's key. That's key to have, like, a nice makeup. Do you think practice makes perfect? Like, even if it's, you know... Yeah. Even if you're not, like, crazy passionate about makeup? Because, you know, I don't have the biggest passion for makeup, but I love being glammed up, you know? Definitely. Like, if you just do it every day just to, like... You know I what think I mean? YouTube helps so much. Like, you don't even have to go to beauty school nowadays. I feel like beauty school will teach you all the, you know, the cleaning aspect, like, being... um sanitize and everything but they won't teach you the creative part you know yeah uh, for sure you know being a makeup artist yeah um i love your brush i don't know what it is <laughs> i get I, I i used to be subscribed to tip ipsy ipsy um and they used to send me brushes i don't i'm not really into like i don't care much about you should explain to them like what's yeah. ipsy so it's, it's, a, it's a makeup subscription that you pay like a ten dollars a month okay. and they send you like you know, a couple of samples to try or full size product. Um, it's good if you're trying to get into makeup and you don't want to go out and spend money on Sephora, like trying on new things. They actually give you really high, yeah. high brands, high end brands, and, um, samples. Yeah, so it's 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 a really good idea if you're trying to get into makeup. You're not trying to spend money buying like a bunch of high end products, but you want to test high end products. 
I would definitely su suggest, a, a, you know, like uh, right now, Sephora Play or um, Ipsy Birch. I think Birch Box is one of them too. Uh, and they send you the cutest little um bags makeup bags that you can actually take when you travel yeah definitely you know i actually stole a couple of them from you <laughs> no, you're I'm probably not. looking for them like no I'm, I'm, i don't i get so many that i can't keep track just look up yeah i got like this pizza one that is clear so pretty so look up just look up um so you guys saw that I put the, the powder and I did not let it set on there. I'm gonna like wipe it off and I'll show you guys what I'm gonna do. Wipe it off, wipe it off. And this is with the powder and the concealer is how I'm gonna match your skin tone. Um, and then I go back in with my beauty blender, the other side that was that I put the foundation and I'm gonna just dab, dab it in. This is how you're gonna lock in that powder. This is how you're gonna set that powder in there. This is why my makeup goes nowhere. Anybody watching this, um, girls and guys, you know, if you do your makeup, uh, I want you to name, I want you to tell me actually, sorry about that. I want you to tell me how many of these steps that she's doing, you do. Because it's levels to this shit. <laughs> There's actually steps to this, like mm -hmm. literally, like I don't even, I'll just put foundation mascara do my eyebrows whatever put a little bit of pencil whatever and a little bit of lipstick that's it and not even sometimes i don't even wear lipstick i know it makes me so mad <laughs> yeah my mom tells me all the time like put I'm some like, lipstick, what a little girl, bit of lipstick know? on like we're going out yeah you try to look decent <laughs> no but it's like her whole face is done and then there's no lipstick i'm like but look i want to know what you guys think about that honestly put a comment down below tell me what you think about seeing a girl all glammed up and no lipstick just like the real technique brush with the foundation brush and this is from the drugstore um you can get at ulta or certain beauty supplies oh wow the max delina yeah and this is the cab collab collab this is what they did in um behalf of selena um mac did this line and they had some lipsticks and um the this is like a, a compact um bronzer and bronze like for contouring and then um what's it called blush so i like to start with this one on her specifically because i've done her makeup before because she has a, a she's lighter than me so my bronzers tend to be like way too dark i like to start with this one and then build up once i find like once i find like you know what shape i want to give her um for face so i do contour the forehead to make the forehead look a little shorter and then i go based off where your ear is that's how i um where your ear is and then yeah that's how i, I go ahead and contour i close my eyes even if i don't have to it's like soothing i don't know the butter bronzer from physician formula drugstore really really good product um i'm gonna go in with this one <laughs> the next. damn thing they don't want it open i know <laughs> we had a Struggle with a with kitchen you. knife let me know what other videos would you like for me and my sister to do maybe like i could do more like night look or something this i want you to simple. do like a smoky eye well i don't know what you're gonna do with my eyes you're gonna surprise me so after i put on con uh, contour i'm gonna go back in with a powder back it with that same powder and i'm gonna do the same thing but now I, you can leave it on to do the eye. So I know a lot of people start with their eye because of course the fallout, but if you put a little bit of powder under the eye, it, it doesn't only clean up your contour, but it, go, it, you know, it, it also collects any fallout from the eyeshadow. So this is why there's two steps to it. And because you already kind of set that the, the other powder in there, this powder is just literally to like help you clean up the that area. And I put it under here. And this is when I bake. So I, I use powder to set the concealer and then I use powder to bake. And to clean up. And to cut that fallout. <laughs> powder is just for everything. You know, I gotta start learning how to use powder because I used to use powder 
you know, when I was younger, experimenting with makeup, but I'd be scared of using my skin. Just because my skin is so sensitive, you know? But powder can easily be wiped off, so it's not um, something that you, you know, if you're getting into makeup, you don't have to hesitate when using it. Brushes that I use when doing um, eyeshadow, uh, one of them is the e.l.f. It's like a flawless concealer brush, and it's like this. I like to use it on the eye when um, you you know when um for the crease because it really does blend well. I like to use a flat brush, and these are all from Vanity Planet, and they were really affordable. Like there's like coupon call codes for all for some of them, and then this is a round. This is a C four five seven round blender brush from Crown from Crown brush. Yeah, from Crown brush. Um, and then this one I. Don't even know which one. No, she left oh so, vanity and brush morphe. in my house and it was really I tried it and it was super good. Yeah. So you can definitely get some good brushes from Vanity Planet. What they recommend, eh? This is a Morphe brush. It doesn't have what number it is, but it's like a I think it's like a concealer or like a powder for the I don't know. But I basically go in this is a the Tarte uh palette um which one is this one i don't even know but it does have a range of bronzers which is why i decided to get it and um it also has like just neutral colors and i love just, just so you can guys know since she doesn't know oh clay play that's the name of okay. clay play face shaping palettes yeah that's the name <laughs> that's the one <laughs> i i at first when i got this palette i hated it i was like damn i wasted my money it was really expensive um because it was so like the the conceal the the bronzers in this palette it's really really heavy really really heavy i'm going with very pigmented yeah so you have to go in with the light hand like if you're not used to doing makeup like you do, you might want to i think that's something for everybody like if you're a starter makeup like don't hold a brush like you know like this so mm -hmm. hard when you're doing like you know, yeah. probably to put like glitter or something, you know, um, you can hold it right there. But to blend, it's also good to hold it like lightly. You don't even don't want to go in with a heavy hand. Hmm, definitely. I mean, another thing palette. about doing your own makeup when you're doing it yourself and you're doing it in a mirror, you need to look away from the mirror sometimes because sometimes it can look super nice up close. And then, yeah. you know, you'll go back and you'll be like, what the hell, you know, you look like a total different person. Um, I'm going to go in with the color Journey, which is a nude, and I'm going to go in with the concealer brush from e.l.f. And e.l.f. is a, you know, really cheap, uh, not cheap, but like affordable brand. I don't like to use the word cheap. It's cheap you know, I actually... I think cheap is associated with, like, not good, and that's not the case. You can, yeah. You can get a lot of cheap products and that aren't right. good. That are, you know, so I, I like to use the word affordable. Yeah, <laughs> and e.l.f. actually has, like, um, they have, like... I was gonna say boutique. Um, they have stores. They have locations like in the, I know in the, uh, what's it called? The Garden State Mall in New Jersey, has one of the locations there. And I think in downtown Manhattan. Yeah. Um, they have another location. I actually bought Elf products one time. You know, some are hit or miss. Just like you gotta try. Yeah. So today, because we're not doing anything, like if we go out later, maybe I will go back into the face and like just kind of put a little more. Um, but right now, since we're just gonna be hanging out around the house, we're probably gonna go to dinner later. I don't, I don't want to do too much with the eyes because sometimes it's just better to appreciate, especially when you're in a high, in a, yeah, in like in a hot climate, like the DR is super, super insanely hot, like, melt, you know, it's melting off. You don't want glitter and lashes and, a, you know, all of that getting into your face because just, you're going to feel uncomfortable. No, the so, glitter, I think, hot weather is so difficult. Yeah, so if you guys want to see, like, a nice, like, going out look with the glitter, I can do that for you guys at another video. Just let her know. Um, this is a Jaclyn Hill Morphe collab palette. Yeah, so pretty in the back. Um, yeah, Jacqueline Hale, I think they changed the formula for the purpose of this when you know when she did this palette and I think they permanently changed the formula of their eyeshadows you should show after them. this they did the palette. Look at this beautiful palette, guys. As a rain. And look of at colors. the back. It is actually shows. Jacqueline Hill is another YouTuber um, that I really enjoy watching and she said this palette is for my it's dedicated to my loving subscribers. Which I think I is love so Jackie nice. Hill. Um the thing about it is that this 
formula it has a more creamier consistency than like other I you can see it how it is on my finger there and let me see yeah. Wow, look at that. Very pigmented. You're probably not gonna be able to see it so well here. Oh, very pigmented. Um, it took me a while to learn, like, to like this formula. I'm not gonna lie. I think Jacqueline Hill is amazing, but because I, you know, I was used to more like powdery eyeshadows. This is very using, pigmented. But... Using this, yeah, it was different for me. Like, I, I had to get used to it, but um. For this, you really cannot go with that heavy hand, right? Yeah. I'm literally just going on with the nude shade. I even, don't even know which one this is. I think this is butter. Um, In case they want to follow this makeup look. I'm literally just putting like a bunch of different nude shades in her crease. And what do you think is better? Because, dimension. you know, I have seen a lot of different, you know, beauty grooves and when they're making you know this specific video i think it's better to start like with the dark color on the shadow or the light color you see how some oh, beauty um, grooves say oh you gotta start with the light color and then mitts and get darker oh, um well i start off mine with the light just a light base all over because i use foundations as my primer in a way and then i set it with the like same color of your skin powder like eyeshadow set that in and then i just go in on the crease with a transition shade so that's it, that would be kind of like a, using a lighter color yeah that's good i think um most of the good you know beauty girls that i'm seeing and follow on um, you know have seen their videos and follow most of their videos because i love how they do their makeup do I, I, most of them start with the light colors you know because it's just easier to blend yeah, I'm just giving you, I'm literally just giving her eye dimension. I'm going in with a darker brown. And I'm putting that into, like, just round circular motion. Putting that into the, uh, the, um, the lid, just at the end of the eye. And then blending that into the crease. This e.l.f. concealer brush, because it just helps me blend, blend the eyeshadow really nicely. Do you need like a blending brush to blend or like you can use any? I mean, when it comes to eyeshadow, I, I do I do tend to be a little picky with what products, I, I mean, with what brushes I use because depending on the brush, like that will determine how you're going to blend your eye. <laughs> so definitely like have the blending keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. Um... I really, I don't want to know. I want to like leave it like that. I don't want to do, I don't want to put anything in the eyelid yet in case she wants to go out and put like glitter later on. I don't want to do it now because it's just way too freaking hot. Like yeah. I can't take it. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to go in with the, I'm going to just wipe off the excess powder. And if you see now that you wipe it off, it's literally just no, nice and smooth. No, hurts so bad. Like when you press the brush like that. Sorry. It's okay. This is what I hate about, like, my face is so sensitive sometimes, you know? About having cystic acne. Like, some people just don't understand how, you know, hurtful it is to have that, you know? Just because it really, like, hurts. Like, last night I couldn't sleep at all, you know? Okay. Because, you know, I lay on my side and then I have acne in both sides. And they get in inflamed and irritated. Guys, if, you, if any of you know any secrets to this, like any, you know, um, recommendations on what can help with this, please, you know, send them my way. Comment down below, DM me, message me, email me, anything, honestly, you know. I try so many different skin products and I try so many different things and natural remedies at most. But you know, it's really trying and error. Like my skin sometimes when I wear stuff, different products, it just gets worse, you know? Sometimes I just gotta let it be in order for for it to, you know, cooperate. I'm going in with uh, Wet n Wild um, and Kabuki brush just to do a little bit of blush, just a little bit. Cause I know she doesn't like a lot of blush. I like like gold, you know, like highlighter um what is it called not yeah, highlighter, it's a highlighter. It, yeah highlighter right? mm -hmm. um, i was confusing highlighter and um contouring yeah I, 
I have this on Laura Jeller New York and it's actually really good you can get it at Ulta that's why I saw this brand um, it's like a nice gold highlighter and I actually use my kabuki brush I know a lot of people are gonna be like that's wrong I'm supposed to use a high, high, use <laughs> highlighter brush I do have a highlighter brush but I like to use the kabuki because she does like more more of that golden look so for that purpose I'm gonna use this here and I just apply that just at the top and I just take it from one side literally just one side and I just put that on there and I highlight the tip of the nose. So <laughs> we took a little break um, because it's freaking hot outside. I got some water. Um, so I sprayed her face with some of the Urban Decay uh, All Nighter Setting Powder. I'm um, setting spray, um, and I'm going to just kind of spray a little more right now and just let it dry in there. And then I'm gonna. So I forgot to mention powder. Another thing about powder, if you're learning how to do makeup don't be afraid to experiment with different eyeshadows use powder to clean it up because powder is your best friend trust me because powder you can always wipe it off and it, there won't be any residue if you get a good powder you don't you shouldn't have any residue but you wouldn't have residue if you do what i said by going in dabbing in the first time you go in you put in your 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 uh, concealer you go in with the end of your beauty blender you dab your concealer in there um, you go and you put powder, you wipe the powder off right away, and then you go in back with the other side and you dab the powder in there. So after you put, um, after you're doing like eyeshadow and, and you know, uh, contouring, you're basically using your powder to clean and to just define those areas. And the powder won't, um, there, you, there won't leave any residue because you already set your face. Hope that makes any like sense if it doesn't make sense just cut that part out <laughs> but i'm trying to explain to them my little trick everybody asks me that's I mean, that's my trick to makeup so this is my trick to makeup i'm giving use, all the deets right here. i always yeah i'm giving you all my secrets for flawless <laughs> skin i always use um powder to clean up so let me look up um i know i already did this like a hundred times i'm just cleaning up the um the is that like a magic eraser <laughs> yeah i'm cleaning up like the the eyeshadow and the nose a little bit too just anywhere where i see things that like are not perfect <laughs> or to me um then i clean it up even after setting powder it, setting spray i'm sorry Yeah, and you can really just kind of slim down the face. Wow, and you can that. see it. Like, you can see it on the screen. Like, my face, you know, guys, like, you already see me. My face doesn't usually look this skinny. And now you can, you can see that being snatched. Um, and then I'm going to, I already did, I know I did this like a hundred times, but I'm just kind of showing you guys a different, like, ways to contour your face. So that's why I'm going back. Um... I'm gonna go in with this Pixie Fresh Face Blush, which is more like, which is more like contour. But um, this I got in one of the Ipsy bags too. It looks like the Clinique. Yeah. I still am. It's not, and this too. So you know, if yeah, definitely get into Ipsy if you're trying to like learn and you know test out products and you don't want to. I I know I did say um they send samples, but sometimes they send the full size products. Right? Yeah. That is and they sell like the best nail polishes so. and they're like things like they're products that i didn't know of like i i, I had no idea existed <laughs> by the you way know? this is all based on like you know what she uses and i use like on a regular basis this is not you know sponsored whatsoever i should also mention you you want to be careful when using like brushes on other people um, especially my sister, I want to be careful. I want to use clean brushes because of her, you know, off her face, like her skin. I know she's very, very particular about her skincare. So I don't want to use any brushes that can cause her any irritation. So you want to make sure to keep your brushes clean. You know, um, if you're working on clients, I would definitely have brushes that you can dispose of or, or use more sponges. You know, funny that you say that because now thinking about it, like, since my acne like so hard it's like it like 
I mean, sorry, it hurts so bad. Like, it's under the skin. So, I feel like a beauty blend is way more gentle on the skin. I use it more. I need to, you know, practice more with makeup. And this is so weird. Now, I don't know if this is more mental than anything else. I do believe that the color of the beauty blender matters because <laughs> I used the pink one. I bought the pink one. It's so hard. It's it so sucks. Steel, like. it, it, I hate it. I, I threw it away. This one and the white one, uh, just the lighter ones, are softer and more like squishier. So if you guys know if it does, if the color does matter, then please like <laughs> let me know because some people say it does, some people say it doesn't. I don't know, but to me, it's right. You think it's it a different material? Though? <laughs> I think it's like, just the 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 aggressive. Like well, some of them are a little harder than others. And I think the, the darker the color gets, the harder it is. Maybe, I don't know. I could be wrong. I don't know. Yeah, it's exactly, you know, it's something with how they're making it, you know? Because it's literally only a color difference, you know? And, I mean, if that's the case, then that's a good idea, too, because some people do, like, you know, a little more aggressive and others, like, a little more gentle. Yeah. So, so don't go and buy those sponges from CVS because they're not going to do much. Yeah, I know Real Technique has a good one, but it uh, didn't work for me. I, I really want to try the LA Girl one because I'm a YouTuber. Said it was really good, so I want to try it. Oh, I heard. That you, yeah. So I'm basically just cleaning up, you know, her face um, a little more. I already did all of this. Um, setting back. And then literally she's just going to go now put a little bit of mascara on and a little bit of lipstick and she should be all set to go are we gonna do the i'm um, not gonna do her mascara because then she go are we gonna awful. do lashes at all well guys i wanted to share this lashes with you guys it's so pretty they're like from kiss they're like fuds mink yeah <laughs> lashes look at her lashes they're beautiful i do lash extensions i need them those are like the mink ones right yeah they're like you see those are real it's expensive it's an expensive habit and um you gotta I, retouch no yeah you gotta be careful with removing makeup who does it and then your lashes get shorter like i feel like you lose really? yeah because you're used to the lashes that they look shorter or they it actually like uh, affects the growth of your lashes so yeah i'm just kind of these like little glitter um, sticks, they're really, really good. They're like building a house or something right in our house, right? I think so. Alright oh, guys, so, so... Uh -huh. Um, basically, I we kind of just went back and forth with the whole glitter thing. So I decided to go ahead and just use one of the Stilla. Um, it, they look like this. I think they're really, really good. Um, I think even Kylie Jenner came out with the this concept um, for her like last birthday kit, her 22nd or something birthday kit. I don't even know how old she is. But um, so I think this is like the best idea if you are trying to apply glitter to your eye. It, it, it looks like a like a lipstick and uh, it's just the easiest way to get it on there and it stays so it's, this the one is really good stilla and i did use some of the chella eyebrow defining gel clear for her eye eyelashes um i'm sorry eyebrows um and she my sister has already like very full eyebrows so you don't have to do much i think it's just keeping them tame <laughs> and keeping them set and this is a good product to use um yeah and we we just went ahead and we cleaned up a little more with powder and we put some uh, mascara on she didn't put lashes just because it's like so early and we don't want to like be messing around um so i use the benefit they're real um mascara this is a really really good one guys so i do highly recommend it um and yeah we just said with the urban decay all nighter and that's pretty much it it's just listen guys <laughs> it's really hot outside and we're sweating so this Probably better get a like, thumbs up. <laughs> it's probably not my best work. I can, I know I could do better, but it's so hot that we I just do a neutral look right yeah. now. We're just gonna be hanging around the house doing some work, yeah. perhaps go out for dinner, you know, nothing big. Yeah. We just got here right now from like the airport last night, you know, so yeah. we're pretty tired. 
Yeah, so uh, if you guys do want to see us do something else together, maybe another makeup video, I'd probably do better. Um, I, I mean, I oh, think she looks great, but you know, of course, I, I, th I know I could do. I, I'm very critical of I myself. I love it. Um, but yeah, so if you guys want to see us do something else together, I'm happy to do it. Um, I do work a lot, so getting together is sometimes hard, but um, yeah, so. It was nice yeah, to so we're going to close this video up, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in with me and meeting my beautiful sister, Julissa. And yeah, hit a thumbs up if you want to see more of these videos. Thank you so much, guys. And I probably like link with my social media below. Yeah, my link my her Instagram. social media below. Definitely her Instagram. Mm -hmm. She you only have her now Instagram. Yeah, I'm not. I'm thing. not as crazy on social media, but um. You know, you guys can find out a little more about me there. So, so, yeah, I work a lot. Um, so, if you guys want to kind of know a little bit more about me and what you know, what my everyday is like, I would love to bring her to like more videos. Um, probably like a get to know us. Um, probably like a Q and A or a challenge. I don't know. You guys tell tell me what you want to see. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye, guys. Bye.